Hello people, this is Sonali, the Melodramatic Bookworm. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to the Melodramatic Bookworm family. I'm here today with some YA book recommendations for you. Young adult fiction is a category, a genre, in which the writing is targeted to readers between ages 12 and 18. But people like me, Adults like me still go back to young adult books because they are first of all easy to read, second of all they have that depth to them and that combination sort of makes us keep going back in that direction and they are also in so many ways comfort books that we just want to keep reading YA books all the time because the feeling of our past of being a young adult trying to navigate our way into the world because there are so many YA books that are coming of age stories and to read those and to live vicariously through those it's a sort of a different feeling altogether i've gotten quite some requests from you all over the past uh, few months to do a YA book recommendations video so here i am but i must tell you that you will find some usual suspects on this list because i love these books so much so you might have already seen these in a few other book recommendations videos but they belong to the YA category as well so I can't not mention them over here but I hope you like all of these or I hope you'll find something in here that you will end up liking so without any further ado let's dive right into this video and let me share with you the 12 YA book recommendations that I have for you a quick reminder if you'd like to buy any of the books mentioned in this video then please use my Amazon affiliate links in the description box below it would be of immense help to me first up is the hate you give, not this side, this side. Is what this whole uh, story is about. This is day two of filming this video and I'm picking up right where I left off because I, I don't have the energy anymore. I have the thumbnail, I have the introduction ready. So now on to the recommendations. The first book that I'd like to recommend is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This is the story of Star who watches as her friend Khalil is shot dead by a police officer and how her life and her community's lives change after this and uh, what she does to try to find some justice because racism is still so rampant and to see that inequality and to see that hate directed against black people it boils my blood and this is a heavy topic but the main character star is a teenager she's i think 16 years old 15 16 years old and this needs to be read by more teenagers also this needs to be read by everybody out there but uh, teenagers especially need to read this to understand the imbalance the power imbalance that's going on especially in america right now and i mean it's there across the world but uh, this is set in america so angie thomas's writing is simply brilliant she is her writing is testament to the fact that you don't need to use heavy phrases big words to get your point across read this book and there's so much more you will understand when you go through the story along with star and just sympathize empathize with her also maybe and the sad part is this kind of thing happens across the world and you can adapt by replacing the characters like the cop becomes someone, the victim becomes someone else and the, there's a whole thing but the power structure there, you can apply it across the world. So that's why this I feel is such an important book. Next up is the Fault in Our Stars by John Green. This is one of my favorite books of all time. I've read this about six times and each time I've cried. This is the story of two teenagers, Hazel Grace Lancaster and Augustus Waters. Hazel Grace has a form of cancer that uh, affects her lungs affects her breathing as well and she is on medication she's 16 years old i think 16 16 yeah 16 years old uh, she goes to support group because her parents ask her to and she's going there just for her parents and there she meets augustus waters who has had osteosarcoma in the past and they hit it off and how their friendship progresses and how it turns into this huge tale of 
friendship, love, bravery, and everything else in this. It's so beautiful. These characters are so nuanced they are deep and every single one of the interaction it has wit sarcasm yeah you could say sarcasm is the lowest form of humor but it makes their interaction so great and i look forward to reading this book yet again i cried buckets when i each time i read the book like i've read it six times so far and every single time i've cried and i look forward to crying yet again next is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. This is a, a beautiful book in its simplicity. Simon Spear is a 16 year old kid who goes to high school and he is trying to work out his own identity and his own uh, leanings. But one of his emails to someone called Blue gets leaked and it, it's all over the place. It's all over the school and now Simon had to, has to find out who did it and why they did it and what is going on within himself as well as around the world his relationships with uh, the people around him and i love this book not not just because it's a very sweet story it, but also because it puts forth this idea not idea which, which should be the truth actually because every gender every sexuality is normal god if you if you believe in god then god made us the way we are. See, if you are going to argue with me with the statement that uh, gay people have always been persecuted, then what does that say about straight people? Uh, that straight people have always had an issue with homo uh, homosexual people because they are homosexual, because they like the same gender, because it is in their minds that uh, a person should be like this. We have always had blinders on. This is so simple. It it asks the question why does it have to be always the homosexual people coming out straight people should also be made to come out like why does this uh, burden have to be on queer people only like straight people should have to come out too so that they understand that pressure that burden of living with yourself but not being able to tell anybody reading this was such a, a heartwarming experience i loved Simon and I just wanted to give him a big hug and tell him everything was going to be okay. Oh my god. I actually did a full video review of this book. If you'd like to go check that out, link here as well as in the description box below. Next up is The Poetics by Elizabeth Acevedo. This is a novel in verse. I listened to it for the first time on Storytel and I absolutely fell in love with it. And I very recently got this paperback. This is the story of Xiomara Batista who is a fierce girl. She is a fierce teenage girl and she has secrets. She writes poetry and she loves doing slam uh, poetry and she loves going to slam poetry clubs and all of that. But when her feelings for a boy which she has kept hidden in a journal and when she does go to one of these slam poetry clubs then all of these feelings all of these poems that she has kept hidden for so long they are about to come tumbling out and she speaks oh and how and i would recommend that you listen to the audiobook because elizabeth acevedo has narrated it who is a slam poet herself and she does such a phenomenal job of it that i was like i felt the power of her words coming through to me and this was the first time i think i read a novel in verse i i i don't remember any other book having this kind of an effect on me especially uh, a novel in verse and i always 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 recommend this book this was a full five out of five stars for me uh, i'm itching to go back to it but this is one that i would highly recommend to every single person and this was elizabeth acevedo's debut and i fell hard in love once i read this Next up is a YA fantasy series that I read earlier this year and that is The Ember Quartet by Sabah Tahir. The first is An Ember in the Ashes. The second is A Torch Against the Night. The third book is A Reaper at the Gates and the last one is A Sky Beyond the Storm. And this is the story of Laia and Elias. Laia is a scholar and uh, she has lived in fear of the marshals who are now ruling the kingdom but one night her brother is taken and now she must uh, side with the resistance to save her brother and to save everything that she knows is familiar 
Elias on the other hand is a marshal but he knows he is different. He is about to become one of the most feared masks at Black Cliff Academy and Laia when she comes to Black Cliff to spy on the commandant to push her plans forward these two meet and how their paths intersect and how they uh, navigate this whole course forms these four books. I mean they are not the only two characters of importance in this there's also Helene and there are a bunch of other important characters that I'm remembering and my heart is breaking such a fast paced shocking amazing fantasy series it moved me to tears like I had deep racking sobs I think I cried on every one of these books I have two vlogs for uh, these four books one for the first two and one for the last two like I'm fumbling just thinking about it and I cried like a baby like proper racking sobs tears coming and coming and streaming uh, I have decided that later this year or early next year I will reread this series I'm so excited this this series has so much of wraiths and jinns and magical elements and uh, amazing f uh, there's so much fighting over here there's strategizing and this whole thing coming together makes this uh, an amazing series to get into next is another uh, YA fantasy series you could say and that is the Six of Crows duology by Lee Bardugo. Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. And these were so good. I could feel the character's pain in this. There's so much of backstory. There's so much of nuance to these characters. Every single one of them. Kaz, Inej, Jasper, Wylan, Nina, Matthias. Every single one of these characters has a backstory that gives them that weight, that strength. And... The best part about this book is that they are all hardened criminals but the way the story goes and the way Lee Bardugo explains about their trauma and why they do what they do you start feeling for them and now like me you just can't let go because you just want to protect them. This, this was so great I laughed I cried I was angry I was disgusted I mean these characters are all teenagers. Uh, you won't feel like it given the sh sharpness, the violence with which they operate. But these are teenagers and every single one of them is like, oh, my heart. And I just shared a, a post just yesterday. Let me read it out to you. I just love how in Six of Crows, you the reader has no idea what the fuck is going on with the plan. But it's all good. Because none of the main characters do either, apart from Kaz, who kind of has an idea but also bullshits so hard until he makes something up. We stand this chaotic gang. And I don't know what is what could be truer. Because that's exactly what this is. And I'm so sad it's over that I finished reading this. A reread. I will reread this duology. Pakka. This next book is a combination of young adult and historical fiction. I, I had this idea in mind that uh, Lizel or Liesel was a, a teenager but apparently she is a nine year old girl who is living with a foster family. Uh, that's weird. But the book is The Book Thief by uh, Marcus Zusak. This is set during World War II and it's a great book to talk about how uh, people's lives were affected and how they strived to make their life lives as normal as possible her parents have been taken away to concentration camps and she is living with a foster family on himmel street and how the whole war affects her foster family and the people living on her street forms this entire story and this is gut-wrenching to say the least this is an amazing book uh, one of my favorite books uh, across my YouTube journey. I mean, I don't speak about this book enough, but this is a great book uh, and a very beautifully written young adult book uh, combined with historical fiction uh, since it's set way back when. And uh, Marcus Zusak does a great job of talking about uh, their lives over there and putting us in that street putting us in Himmel street next up is another novel in verse young adult book and that is 
Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds and illustrated by Chris Priestley. This is a story of Will whose brother Sean was shot dead in the street and what his brother taught him was that if someone hurts your family then you need to go get revenge on them without telling anybody anything and now Will is out to do that. He has found a gun, he doesn't know how to work it but he is out to get revenge and on his way down in the elevator of the building that he's living in, he encounters realizations and revelations and ghosts that tell him to think with a level head. And he is thinking, he is confronted with all of these thoughts, all of these memories and all of these realizations. And it's so heartbreaking to see that a boy trying to avenge his brother's death has also to contend with the truth with the reality that patience will get you far more than what immediate revenge will and that is something that i love about uh, jason reynolds writing because it's so powerful it gets his point across to you this is a book that you can finish in like three hours three or four hours at the maximum but i would suggest take your time reading it because there's a lot more of a way down than in long way down than just reading fast and getting through the book. Next up is another YA fantasy series which is called Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. This is a series that talks about magic and monarchy and uh, usurp usurping magic from people and oppression and not understanding what is different from you and you know fearing what you don't understand and uh, power struggles and power dynamics and this whole thing going throughout this book this is actually a trilogy but the third book is yet to come out i love children of blood and bone its sequel children of virtue and vengeance was good i liked it but it wasn't as great as the first one i felt it became a little repetitive but it ended on a mind-blowing cliffhanger so i'm very 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 excited for the third book to come out the absolute monarch of a tyrant has a uh, killed Zeli's mother, taken magic from the land, pushed it aside and now magic is making a reappearance and now Zeli and her brother are on the run, they have to save themselves and how this whole thing comes about where they are fighting for themselves but they are also fighting for their own identity, it's such a metaphor for what life is what reality is and i love this book so much i did a full video review of this book if you'd like to go check that out link here as well as in the description box below next up is the percy jackson series by rick riord and i don't think i can shut up about this series especially because we i'm currently reading it right now i started the first book very recently just yesterday and i am in love with i have been in love with the series for like about three years now and i don't think i i'm going to stop but here's the series uh, i'm not going to hold it up you can see it here but yes we are reading it for the book bound book club which we will ha be having a live show on the 12th of june on my channel this is such a great series this is about percy jackson very obvious obviously uh who is a 12 13 year old who is half blood he is the son of a greek god and a human and he finds out that he is half blood and he comes to and he realizes all of this and he begins to take up responsibilities and he begins to take up quests he makes new friends and there's a lot of things that he is supposed to do as a half blood and there is so much going on in this series i mean i i'm at like page 130 right now and this is so much fun even the second time around i don't know what else i was expecting but I love this. I think on reread, you I appreciate what Rick Riordan has done over here uh, a lot because I know what's going to happen. So every time something uh, touches on something that I already know, I'm like, uh, -uh nice. It's a super well written uh, series and it's so inclusive as well. And it's very kind. There's no derogatory things in this book and that is one of the biggest things that i 
I love about the Percy Jackson series. Next is Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. This is the story of Frances who is a genius student and she nothing can come in the way of her dreams of what she wants to do. And now she meets Alad who is behind her favorite podcast. And when she comes in contact with him, uh, she has to confront her past and what she has uh, done in the past and this whole thing comes together where when Alad at university is finding himself to be super alone and he needs help and what these friends do to find freedom to find expression to find strength is what forms this beautifully written coming of age story by Alice Oseman and she is such a phenomenal writer her writing is very simple but it is beautiful it is strong it is powerful because it not only represents a ton of issues but it also tells us that it's okay to be different it's okay to want something else it's okay to want to put your all into something because as teenagers these characters need time to blossom and pressure on them is not going to let them make them do it and oh my god there's so many things that are good with this book we had a hearty discussion about this on our book club when it was active i am trying to bring it back to resuscitate it but uh, somehow i am not able to and I don't know I'm just hounded by a lot of things but that's that's beside the point but Radio Silence by Alice Oseman is a great book it's amazing you should definitely read it highly recommend another YA book that I really loved but I really don't want to plug much of because I've heard that the author is a little problematic is Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe by Benjamin Alire Science this is a story of Ari who is moody and sullen and everything beautiful that is part of the darkness that is Ari and Dante who is the literal light and who thinks that the world is a rainbow and these two come together they meet and how they bond how they find out things about each other as well as they find out things about themselves they have self revelations and all of that how they see the world uh, individually as well as as together as friends as a couple uh, and this is a very simple book but it also stresses a lot upon allowing teenage boys to be themselves and it's a great representation of same sex relationships but i've heard that there have been issues with benjamin alire science oh okay so i found out what's wrong with him Apparently this author Benjamin Alire Science reaches out to bloggers who don't like his material and leaves public comments telling everyone how wrong the blogger is. Oh. Yeah, no thanks. It, that's wrong on so many levels. Ish. Okay, maybe that is just one of the issues, but that's an issue that yeah, no. Thanks. So those were all the young adult book recommendations I had for you today. Uh, I'm sure that in maybe a year or two I will have more book recommendations for you and I will make updated videos. No worries about that. But I hope you like these recommendations. If you read these books, let me know what you think about them. Uh, which of these books did you like? Which ones did you not like? Which ones have you read? Which ones have you not read? Which ones are on your TBR? Which ones are on your wish list? Which ones are you going to buy? If you're going to buy any of these books, then please use my Amazon affiliate links in the description box below. It would be of immense help to me. And leave a comment telling me what you think. I'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, please like it and share it to spread the word. And if you like my content and would like to see more from me, don't forget to hit subscribe and click on the bell icon beside the subscribe button to get notified as and when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, keep reading, keep watching and add melodrama to your life.